Welcome to labminutes.com. So now we have the point to look at posture assessment capability of Cisco ICE. And as part of network emission control, posture assessment allows you to make sure a device meets certain criteria before being allowed access to the network. And these criteria could be things like having antivirus and spyware installed with up-to-date definition files, or having certain files or registry value present on the machine. During this video, we will see a Cisco ICE posture assessment in action and will be using Clamwind antivirus as an example. We will see how network access can be restricted based on the assessment result and how to allow user that fails the assessment to bring their device back to a compliant state. We will mainly deal with Cisco NAC agent assuming this is a corporate user with a corporate machine. We will look at a web agent for guests in the next video. In our lab setup we have Cisco IS running version 1.1.2 at the IP of .102 and we have a domain controller installed at .40. And we will have user admin 1 using a domain computer lmwin 7 test 1 that tries to access the network. And we're going to start from scratch that the machine would not even have the NAC agent installed. And we're trying to bring it up step by step, as you will see, to bring the machine to the compli fully compliant state. So being compliant for us in this video means that the machine needs to have an antivirus software installed as well as having the latest definition file updated. And we will be using Clamwin for our antivirus software. And once it's in compliant, it will get the permit all access to the network. But if the machine is not in compliant, we will just going to give it internet access only, as well as switching it to a different VLAN. By default, it will be VLAN 64. But if it's in not compliant state, we will switch it to VLAN 63. If the client happens to be in any other state or an unknown state, we're just going to give it access to ICE as well as the access to download the Clam Wind uh, software for the installation. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on a configuration. Here we are on the ICE interface. And we can start off with the authentication policy. So since we're not dealing too much with the authentication in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and use what we already have as far as the PEEP authentication. And we're just mainly gonna deal with wired and not wireless in this video. So we'll be using this particular rule right here. What we're going to have to um, deal with is an authorization where we're going to create a bunch of conditions for a different compliant state. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's go and create policies or policies condition. The first uh, next state we're going to create condition for is unknown. So we go to conditions and compound conditions. Let's click add. And let's call this one LM wired user all and create new conditions. Where we're going to go is session, then posture status, and unknown. At the same time, let's say we also want to make sure the user is a domain user. Your domain users. So next we are we are going to create a non-compliant posture state. So again, add start lm wired cut non-compliant new condition session posture status non-compliant. Then again, domain user. So the last one is for the compliant state. So let's go ahead and duplicate the non compliant one. Like I make a little adjustment to the name. So it will be wired compliant. Instead of non compliant, it will make it compliant. Okay, so for any unknown state, we want the user or the device to only access eyes and Clamwin websites to download the software. So now we have to go to result and create a downloadable ACL for that. Here, downloadable ACL. Add. And we'll call this one LM Ice and Clam. Just to make sure we don't have any typo, I'm going to copy and paste what I already have. So permit DSCP DNS Ice and the subnet appears to be where the Clamwin website is located. Okay, so submit. 
And for the non-compliant state, we said that we're going to only allow internet access. So we're going to create another decal for internet only. Again, I'm going to copy and paste to avoid typo. DSCP, DNS, uh, ICE, communication, no private IP, and then everything else. Okay, now that we have the downloadable ACL, it's time for authorization profile. Click add. This one, is, again, is going to be for unknown. So when posture state is undetermined, it's your unknown downloadable ACL. We allow eyes and clam win. And we want also want to redirect user to download the NAC agent. So that would be posture discovery with the ACL or redirect ACL of ACL. I'll show you in a second here. This is the ACL that we have created on the switch. So we call it ACL redirect clam. So now let's bring up the switch and see what it looks like. Okay, so basically it's just the reverse of the DACL we just created for eyes and clam. So we do not want to redirect anything that's DSCP, DNS, anything goes towards eyes or anything that goes towards the ClanWin website. Anything else, we want to make sure we throw up the posture download or NAC agent download page. Okay, so it's just kind of reverse logic there. So with that's done, so submit. Next, we create one for the compliant or non-compliant. So authorization profile that's only allow internet. We'll call it wired non-compliant with the DACL of internet only. And we said we also wants to uh, redirect users or place user into VLAN 63. So that would be you check the box VLAN here. You can either give it the name or the VLAN ID. So here, let's keep it simple and do the ID. Name sometimes comes very handy when you need to have like a global configuration that, that you can use for all the switches that, that might not have the same VLAN ID. So for example, if you have like a quarantine VLANs across your network and you want to keep them, somehow there's a layer three in between, you want to keep them as separate different VLAN uh, numbers, but you want to use the exact same authorization profile, you can just make all the VLAN names identical and just refer it here by name. But here, just do the ID and then submit. Right now we can create an authorization rule so go back to authorization, policy authorization, and then insert new rule below. First one will be for unknown. So LM wired unknown with condition from a library. And we created one with the similar name, LM wired user all. Okay, and authorization profile, that would be LM wired unknown. Done. and then duplicate below. This one is for non-compliant. Again, we'll pick one that we created earlier with the non-compliant and we are allowing internet access only. So again, wired non-compliant. Save, and the last one is for the compliant, so duplicate below, compliant, compound condition, and we have compliant. For the access, we're going to allow permit all, which is a different one here, permit all. Okay, now save. Okay, the next thing we're going to configure is the posture agent profile, basically what kind of uh, configuration that the NAC agent will be using. Obviously, there's a default, but if you want to customize that, you go to policies, policy elements, results, and uh, client provisioning, resources, and so right here, eyes posture agent profile. Here as you can see, there's a slew of uh, options that you can use. Let's see if we can look at a few of them. Serial checked. 
posture report filter. And most of these, for the most part, you can leave at default. The one that we are going to modify here, one would be the remediation timer. So how long the user has before they will be placed in a non-compliant state or basically the time that it has to remediate. So by default it's four minutes. Let's increase that to 10. And there's some other ones. For example, enable auto close lock-in screens, you will see where the user gets uh, prompted with the windows and is successful. It might, if, whether you, or not you want it to auto close, you can tell, or you can specify the timer here. Let's say there's this DSCP renew delay. Let's uh, kind of reduce it down to say five. Okay, just to give you an idea what kind of configuration that you can do. Here we submit. I'm not sure if we changed the name. Let's go back and change the name. Call it LM Wired. Uh, actually, LM, sorry, default profile. Okay, so save. Now, just like if you watch the BYOD videos, now we need to create a client provisioning policy. So to specify who and what operating system will be able to receive or download the NAC agent. So you go to the client provisioning. Here we're just dealing with Windows machines. So we'll create one rule for Windows. Let's call LM agent wins for OS. Let's pick Windows all. Condition. Again, make sure it's a uh, domain user. Sonar group, domain user. And as far as results, you can specify the version of the NAC agent. Here we're not dealing with web, but we're doing the actual NAC agent. And the latest one is 49047. So let's go ahead and try that. And the profile is the one that we created just now, LM profile. Uh, Default profile, compliance mode, again, pick maybe the latest one. And we're not doing any Asian package customization, so we'll leave that uh, default. Okay, so we save. So that's pretty much all it takes for the configuration to get the posture assessment going. Now let's go ahead and start uh, testing with our client.